You've just made your first hundred million dollars and you want to know how far the dollar can go for your own private jet. Here's what money can buy. The Phenom 300 is the most delivered business jet in the world right now. So it's a, it's a popular one for business executives. Let's see how it works. It can seat at least six people. You've got a couple other areas where you can make room for. This is the tray table, so let's give this a shot. You share the tray table with the person across from you. Here you got a place where you could put pens. You have a charger, a universal outlet and you have a place to plug into headphones too. Also what's interesting is you have a cockpit call. Even though it's only a six person jet, you can actually call the cockpit. Let's see, does the seat recline on a private jet? Ah, there we go. If you don't want to face the person sitting next to you, well no problem, you can just hit this latch and you can turn and face this guy. Even though it's only a six person jet, you still have a no smoking sign and a seatbelt sign. And there's even an electronic sign. So just because you're flying in a private jet doesn't mean you're immune to those things. This is the galley, it's right behind the flight deck and here you've got your glasses, your snacks. This isn't an official seat, but it's a nice place to be if you're hungry. The Phenom 300 starts at $10 million. But if this one's a little bit too crammed for you, fear not, we can go take a look at the Legacy 500. Starting price, $21 million. You have a little bit more room for, for dining, for your laptop, whatever you need. You have two cup holders instead of one. Over here, uh, it's actually a screen, so you can control your lighting with a little LCD screen. You've got a table light. From my seat, I'm able to control the entire movie for the entire flight. I just have to click here and I can sort of control what movie we're watching. I like that power. Same thing with music. From here, you can control the music for the entire plane. All right, let's check out the recline on this one. Not bad. So for long flights, what you do is you just combine two seats into one and, well, it turns into a flatbed. You've got screens everywhere you look. There's no such thing as a bad seat on this plane. And this is the Legacy 650. The price tag, $25 million. The Legacy 650 has a lot of similarities to the Legacy 500, same sort of features. On the Legacy 650, you also have to share a table with the person next to you as well. So it doesn't matter if you have a private jet, looks like you're sharing a table when you eat. So for that extra $4 million, you just get a couple more seats in there and a pretty spacious feel. The first thing you really notice though when you get on the Legacy 650 isn't really anything in here, it's what's at the back of the plane. Let's check that out. The back area of the plane allows you to sort of escape from the main cabin and have your own private space back here where you can kind of just take a breath and, and relax as you get to your destination. The one downside I'll say though is if you want to open and close the windows, you have to do it manually. You can also decide which way you're facing. So right now I'm facing forward, but I can change that. It's kind of like a dance. Well, my time on the jets have come to an end.